Bichon Frise is a cute, cheerful, and small breed that gained many fans all over the world because of their white, fluffy coat and black eyes and nose. These dogs are so adorable that they almost look like a child's stuffed toy. While they will surely make great companions, this breed is not for everyone. So for today's video, we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Bichon Frise. Despite their small figure, Bichon Frises have a lot of love to give. Enthusiastic and affectionate, these dogs are the happiest when they get to spend time with their families. Because they are easy to care for, even novice, first-time pet parents and apartment dwellers would appreciate this breed. However, like all dogs, they have their own needs, which will determine if they are the right dog for your home or not. Later on in this video, we'll get to know more about these dogs, so make sure to stay with us until the end. Hey there, and welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you're looking for a channel that features dog-related stuff every day, then you're on the right track, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, today we'll talk about the 8 reasons why you should not get a Bichon Frise. So let's get started right away. Number 1. Bichon Frises should not go outside on their own. Because they are small, larger animals and wild predators such as hawks, coyotes, snakes, or eagles may prey on Bichon Frises. Therefore, they will not make a good choice if you're looking for a dog that you can leave alone in the yard without supervision. Moreover, they may bark at predators, making it much easier for them to catch your dog. With that said, if you're taking your Bichon Frise at the yard to burn off his energy, make sure that he has someone who will watch him all the time. Number 2. Bichon Frises can be quite challenging to house train. Like most small dog breeds, Bichon Frises can be quite difficult to house train. They may be resistant at first, but if you're consistent and patient with the training, they will definitely learn the basic house rules. However, expect this to take longer if you have an experience housebreaking average sized dog breeds. Number 3. Bichon Frises are too clingy. While this behavior can be a good thing, being too clingy can also pose some problems. If you don't mind having a dog that follows you everywhere you go, then you won't have an issue with this dog in your home. However, if you find it bothersome, then you should not get this breed. Being clingy also means that they will crave your attention. When you don't give your Bichon Frise enough of it, they'll come begging by barking, biting, or even nipping. Moreover, they are also sensitive dogs. Shouting or punishing, or even giving them a disappointed look, will break their hearts. Therefore, if you're a busy person who works long hours, then this breed is not for you. If they feel alone and unloved, it can lead to them suffering from separation anxiety, which can result in the development of destructive behaviors such as nuisance barking, chewing, and digging. If you really need to leave for a while, make sure that they have someone to keep them company, such as a family member, a trusted friend or neighbor, or another furry friend. The good thing about having a clingy dog is that you'll never feel alone anymore. Bichon Frises make sure to keep you company, whether it's laying on the couch while watching Netflix or playing outside. Number 4. Bichon Frises require regular grooming. Bichon Frises have long and curly hair that needs to be brushed regularly. Otherwise, their hair may form mats and tangles, which can be painful and may even cause skin problems if left untreated. Aside from regular brushing, you also need to take your dog to the groomer to keep their facial hair well trimmed, thus preventing tear stains and bad odor. In addition, because they have white fur, Bichon Frises get dirty very easily. Therefore, you need to allot plenty of time not only for grooming, but also for bathing. Just make sure that their hair does not have mats and tangles before washing, or else the tangles will tighten which will make it harder for you to remove or untangle. 
Other grooming needs include brushing their teeth as frequently as you can, trimming their nails, and checking their skin, eyes, and ears for any signs of infection. With that said, if you cannot dedicate a considerable amount of time for grooming, then you should not get a Bichon Frise. And we're already halfway through this video. How do you feel about the Bichon Frise so far? Do you think they fit your home? Let us know your thoughts later on, because for now, we have a few more things to talk about these small and adorable dogs. So let's continue. Number 5. You need to maintain your Bichon Frise's health. In general, Bichon Frise's are healthy dogs that can live for 12 to 15 years on average. However, like all dogs, they may still suffer from certain health conditions that you need to look out for if you're considering this breed. Some of these include bladder problems, allergies, patellar luxation, cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, corneal dryness, and hip dysplasia. To ensure that you get a healthy dog, make sure to only purchase from a reputable breeder. It is just as important that your dog receives regular veterinary checkups once or twice a year. Number 6. Bichon Frises are not tolerable of extreme weather conditions. Because of their face structure, Bichon Frises are not tolerable in hot and humid weather. When they feel too hot or too tired, panting is not enough for them to cool down, making them prone to heat stroke. The same is true during winter. Therefore, make sure to have your dog wear thick clothes such as jackets or sweaters when the temperature is very low. That said, if you live in an area where the weather is always cold or hot, then you might need to look for another dog breed. Number 7. Bichon Frises are not for active people. If you dream of having a dog that you can take on hiking, running, or other extreme activities, then you should not get a Bichon Frise. As mentioned, these dogs should not get too tired because it is extra difficult for them to cool themselves down. Instead, this breed will be happy on short walks along with a little game of fetch in the yard. Inside the house, you can provide them with chew toys and puzzle games to keep their minds busy. Number 8. Bichon Frises can be picky eaters. Bichon Frise is not the type of dog that can eat almost anything that you give them. However, there's a reason as to why they are fuzzy eaters, and that is because they have sensitive stomachs. With that said, you should carefully choose the food that you give your dog. Make sure that it does not contain preservatives and chemicals that can be dangerous to your dog's health. In the end, it won't take long for any person to realize that Bichon Frises are amazing dogs for the right family. If you are able to give them plenty of time, love, and affection, indeed, you'll get it back a hundredfold from your adorable dog. However, if you're looking for a dog that is capable of guarding your family and your property, or if you're an athletic person who's looking for a buddy that can join you on your extreme adventures, then you should not get a Bichon Frise. And there you have it, the 8 reasons why you should not get a Bichon Frise. After watching this video, do you think you have what it takes to properly raise this breed? Or you think that this is not the best option for you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. To be notified when we upload new videos, make sure to click the notification bell button. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.